Now, if you haven't heard of Italjet's dragster, you're either not interested in scoots or you've been living in the rainforest of Burma for the last couple of years. When this little bike was released, the world's bike press welcomed it with open arms. Its striking brash looks, its exposed trellis frame gave an overall appearance of this powered two-wheeler landing from Mars. Succeeding where Aprilia's Area 51 failed, the dragster has become a classic almost from the off. With its cross of cutting edge scooter styling and a trellis frame any Ducati will be proud of, the dragster successfully bridges the gap between the pure scooter market and the real world biking scene. Now as with many Italian scooters these days, the dragster makes use of Piaggio's 125cc leader engine. You can see speeds of up to 65 miles per hour appear on that trendy dash. The look is minimalist, although the weight of the machine doesn't really reflect this. Up centre steering is another gadget adding to the dragster's list, but impressive as it looks, it adds more to the overall weight of the machine. You know, the look of this bike is to the scooter world what the MV Augusta F4 is to the world of superbikes. It's one of the few scoots that can quite happily sit in a garage next to a 916 and not look ugly. We love the styling, but there's one thing they've missed. Looking at this bike, you may think you can see a pillion seat, but you'd be wrong. In its place, you'll find a useless plastic pad, which should really only be used in emergencies. Through town, the ride is easy and fun, making short work of urban filtering. Out on the A-roads, though, this is a different story. The bike weaves a little when nearing its top speed, and anything more than a breeze makes it a bit of a handful. And for performance, 8 out of 10. With its proven 125cc leader engine, the dragster doesn't fail to impress. Disc brakes front and back, and you can see and feel the quality. As for the comfort factor, a measly 6 out of 10, I'm afraid. You really wouldn't want to go much further than the local shops with a seat like this. And if you're taking a pillion, oh dear, forget about it. Although they do have foot pegs, the thickness of that seat, well, it isn't much thicker than a few pages of A4, and you might have to take them to casualty with a broken bottom. Like many of the Italian scooter producers, the quality of their UK destined bikes is getting better and better. Italjet have a long and chequered history in relation to their build quality, but they've promised us that things are going to improve. And for now, I reckon this deserves 7 out of 10. Value for money? Well, for around £2,300, it seems a fair price for the amount of bite you get. It's just sadly let down by the lack of insurance deals at the moment. So I reckon 8 out of 10. It's sexy, it's distinctive, and it certainly turns heads. And as for street cred, this wicked looking scoot earns itself nine and a half. And the only reason we couldn't give it 10 out of 10 is because it isn't judgment day. And there's the possibility of something better coming along the horizon soon. But for now, this is the bid.